Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Janine here. If this is your first time on this channel, a very big welcome to you. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love and your support. It is greatly appreciated. In today's video, we are getting serious about registering your business. If you are serious about your business and you want to register your business with the CIPC, I will today help you to register it with my step-by-step -step guide on how you can register your business under 10 minutes for only 175 rand. Yes, you heard right, 175 rand and you can do it right now and I will show you how to do it. Stay tuned. For the purpose of this video, please have the following ready. A bank account with 175 Rand in, on it. Your ID number and full details as it is on the ID. If you are married, please have your date of your marriage as well as the ID number and name of your spouse, your cell phone number, your business address, your business name and you need to know what year end or what financial year end your business will have. Once you have all your information, you can log on to the Buzz Portal's website. It is buzzportal.gov.za. It will take you to this is the home screen and if you scroll down, there's the whole registration process from start to finish. And there's also um, some other things that you can get from the Biz Portal website, which is also included in the registration, namely a BE certificate. If you do have employees, UIF and a compensation fund registration, as well as a bank account, if you wish to open a bank account. So once you're on this portal, the first thing you are going to do is you are going to click on register. On the user registration page, once it opens, it will give you the option to enter your ID number, your South African ID number to be more specific. This is unfortunately not open to individuals with passport numbers only, so you need to have a South African ID number in order to make use of the Biz Portal website to register your business. Once you've entered your 13 digit ID number, you can click on continue and you can follow the prompts on the screen where it will ask you for an ID for your ID number. It will give you your full name. It will ask you for your username, which you can create yourself. And it will also give you the option of selecting a password. Um, I have already done that, so I'm not able to re-register, but that will be the prompts that you will have to follow in order to register as a Buzz Portal user. Okay, so after registration, once you have your login details and you have your password, you can go on to the login portal. And now here you can click in your ID number, which will be your username, and you can click in your password. Then you can click on login to start the registration process. Once you have entered your login name and your password, it will take you to a page where you will see all your personal detail. On that page, you can click on register a new company. It will take you directly to this page where you start to register your company. The cost is also on there. If you want to register a company, it's 125 Rand. And if you want to reserve a name, that is an additional 50 Rand. So that brings us to 175 Rand. Also, it says here the requirements in order for you to register your company. Um, so once you are ready, you can click on new registration. Here's the company registration terms and conditions. Please read through the whole section. And once you agree, click on yes, and you can continue. The next page will be a compensation fund registration if you have employees. So please read through the terms and conditions. And once you agree, please click on yes and continue. The same with the UIF. 
Please read through the terms and conditions. If you are happy, you can click on yes and continue. Now this will bring you to the next page where you decide what kind of company you are going to register. On the VIS portal, you have the option to register a private company or a non-profit company. For the purposes of this video, we are going to register a private company, which means it's a company for gain and we will click on continue. Next up, you need to put in the director's ID numbers. So we will do so. And once you are done, if there's only one director, you, it, the information will populate and you click and click on continue. If there's more than one director, please enter the first director's ID number, click on the plus button, add the other director's ID number. And if you need more than two, you can click on plus until you've reached the amount of directors that your company will have. Once you've completed the director's ID numbers, it will ask for the director's verification. So please, they will ask you on which date your identity document was issued, on which date you got married, in the case you, if you are married, and they'll ask for your spouse's ID number. That's why in the beginning of the video, I said you need to have your spouse's details with. So once you've completed that information, you can click on verify and we'll take you to the next page. After you've entered the director's verification details, they will ask you for the contact details. Please have your cell phone number ready, the email address and the physical address of the directors. Once you have completed all this information on the director contact details, please press on continue. After you've entered the contact details of the directors, you can, you will be um, taken to the page where you complete the company's details, specifically which month your financial year end will be. You need to select that month. They will ask you how many authorized shares you have. If you have a different amount, there's a space for you to put the amount. Um, and then they'll ask you what is the physical address of the company. You can also then, after you've completed the physical address of the company, tick and it will be said that it is the same as the, the postal address is the same as the physical or in the event that it is not the same, you can add it at the bottom and you can click on continue. So now we've done the company's um, contact details, the company's address. So now we need to get a name for the company. You can either have a name that you've already approved. You can apply for a new name or you can register a company without a new name. If you apply for a new name, it will cost an additional 50 Rand to the 125 Rand. Or you can register without a name, but then your company will have like a number. Um, with PTY at the end, or if you've already um, reserved a name a while ago, you can use that name. For purposes of this video, we are applying for a new company name. This will take you to the name where you can, in the page where you can include at least, you can include at least one proposed name, but you have the option to list four names, obviously with the first, the first one being the preferential one. And secondly, the one you preferred on the second or third, and then you can click on continue. Then you will see that the company registration for the proposed name, it is either available or it is not available. So if the name is not available, you can edit and go back and include a name that, different name that might be available. So if the name is available, you can click on continue, which will take you to the following page. So here it takes you to the page where you can do the UIF and the compensation fund registered. Registration, sorry, this is if you have employees. For the purpose of this 
um, video, we do not have employees, but if you do have employees, you can click on yes and include their details so they can be registered with the compensation fund and with the UIF. The same goes for the BE application. You can apply for a BE certificate or you can opt to not apply for a BE certificate. For the, you can click on yes or no. It is completely free. It is included in the 175 rand that you use to register your business and reserve the name. For the purposes of this video, we are not going to include a BE certificate, but you can include a BE certificate. And then they will ask you if you would like to open a bank account. Now, this is the nice thing below. Here's a few bank accounts or different banks that you can use to open your bank account for your business. So you don't have to go into the bank to open up the business account after you've done the registration. It can all be done at once. So this is very nice. Um, for the purposes of this video, we are not opening a business bank account, but just know that that option is available for you to use. And it saves you quite a lot of time. So it is definitely something you can use. After you've selected the bank or not selected the bank option, you will be going to the company registration, the payment section. So this is where you will pay and you need to have your card available. So you can add it to your card to pay. And now they will say that the company has been lodged. They'll send you the confirmation and you can click on pay now. And now you're at the final, final step. So you can see here the cost that they've included is for the company registration, the 125, and then the name reservation, which is the 50 Rand. So you, the payment option is you can pay with a card and this is the final step. So right now you can click on pay now and include your bank details or your card details at the bottom. And once you click on pay now, you will receive a confirmation number or a reference number that your business has been registered and you will get your business registration documents within the next few days. So this is the final step and you have registered your business. Congratulations, you have successfully registered your business. If this video was helpful, please comment down below and let me know how you found the content of it. If you have managed to successfully register your business, give this video a thumbs up, share this video, like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye bye.